Hey guys, what's up? Nick here from Dope Motions and welcome to this quick tip tutorial. Today I'll be showing you some cool tips in After Effects, Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator which will I guess help you in your future projects you know. So I won't talk much today, I'll just get started and let's just learn some cool tips. So let's say I have some motion graphics project here and I don't like I'm not getting how should I create the text. So and I have some less time you know so what we can do is here I have a new composition a background and a text a normal text so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it by hitting control D and I'm gonna select this below text like the second text and I'm gonna add an effect called turbulent displays yep right there and now what I'm gonna do you can see this we start to get this cool turbulence effect so I'll just hide the about text for a second and I'll just change the color to maybe a little darker so that you can see it more properly yep and I'll just increase decrease the amount right there maybe and I'll just make the size to right about there looks good maybe I'll hit increase the complexity a little bit and let's see I'll just make the amount right there and now I just turn on it and you can see now we got this cool text but nothing is happening so what I'm gonna do is I'll just come here right there maybe yep I'm gonna go all the way to the start and I'm gonna hit this offset turbulent stopwatch then maybe I'll go to about let's see 4 seconds and I'm gonna increase this maybe right there and also randomly you know just randomly so now what we have is we have this cool wavy text looks pretty good and you can use this text effect in your motion graphics project you know and it looks pretty pretty awesome trust me on that guys so let's just see how it's looking you can see it looks pretty cool now you can play around with the settings and also with the keyframes you know make it look cool so that was the first step so let's just hop into photoshop for the second tip now here I've created this dripping effect. Most of them people try to try to create it by using the pen tool and stuff. But I'll show you a very quick tip which will help you and save your time as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just create a new file. Let's go right there. Yep, create a new one. Let's just type in something. Mm, now my PC is a little, little slow. I'm sorry for that. Let's just type in dope. Yep, good. Just increase the size a little. Oh, I'm sorry for that. Maybe right there. Yep, looks good. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this text, go to filter, and go to liquify. Oh, I forgot to rasterize. You can rasterize it yep and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this forward warp tool and I'm just gonna you know move this thing right there where you want the dripping effect now you don't need to be more precise you can just do it randomly maybe a little right there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select select this pucker tool and I'm just gonna increase the brush size a little and I'm just gonna drag this right in you can see you start to get this cool drifting effect you can do it the way you want yep looks good and then the same thing you can do to all your text right here the way you want so that was the second tip now let's just hop into illustrator now this is a pretty simple tip and most of the people know this you know but for most of the people who don't know this what I've done is I've created, created a reflection I've tried actually to show a reflection on my text now it's a pretty simple to do so what I'm gonna do is I'll just delete these things oh sorry let's just select it and delete let's just type in a uh, text let's type in motions yep looks good just increase the size so that you guys can see it more properly so now I hear I have a text so now I want to create some reflections on it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the eclipse tool 
to draw our eclipse just randomly most of the time I like to keep it right there a half and I'm gonna set the color to white and then what I'm gonna do is go here to the transparency and change this change this sorry from normal to soft light now it's a little bit hard to see so what you can do is you can select from soft light and go to the overlay and then make it a black or maybe let's let's just undo this for a second and I'll just change the color so that you can see it more properly and I'm gonna just select it and make it white then I'm gonna go to normal and go to overlay so yep we have this cool reflections but while the time of some time editing you can see we still have the circle right here so to remove remove this what we're gonna do is I'm gonna select this text and create outlines and then select this whole thing and go to the shape builder tool and I'm gonna hold alt and just click it right here so yep now we have no more have the circle and we have this cool text effect with the reflection so I hope you learned something new today and I'm sorry if you knew this thing from first only so but for people who didn't knew these things I hope this will help you in your further projects and thanks for watching guys